fans of the Penguin have been asking one question. And where is the Batman? Hey everyone, welcome to Digital Charcuterie. Thanks for stopping by and special shout out to all of our new subscribers. We appreciate it. It really means a lot to us here at the channel. We're on our way to 3,000 subscribers. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. We talk Penguin, Batman, Star Wars, whatever you want to talk about, we will talk about on this channel. We are a charcuterie board of digital content. Today we're talking about Batman and WTF is that guy. He's in I'm going to be talking some spoilers for the first six episodes of The Penguin. So if you haven't seen those yet, pause this video, go watch them, and come back here. I'll see you in six hours. This is a new family now. Where could Batman be? We are six episodes in, two to go. In The Penguin, we've had a reference to Batman, but he hasn't been mentioned or shown up. We've been told by Matt Reeves he probably won't be showing up in this series. I don't have reason to believe that Matt Reeves was lying to us, but at the same time, where is he and why is he gone? The fact that they haven't explained his absence is a little strange one way or another. Like the characters, the characters within this show aren't even nervous about him showing up. We know in the Batman movie, he says that he can't be everywhere all at once, but he has a bat signal and when that's up, bad guys are fearful, right? The villains are afraid. We haven't even seen the bat signal yet. There's been no mention of it, no thought of it, and it has not been in the sky, even at nighttime in the scenes. You think maybe they would just pan to it every once in a while. We've gotten none of that. And I want to talk a little bit about why that could be. But first, I want to know what you guys think. Why is Batman not in this show or mentioned in this show? Obviously, the Pattinson, you know, you don't want the actor, whatever. None of that stuff. But logistically, in the story, why is Batman, why has Batman not appeared in the Penguin yet? Let me know in the comments down below. I read and reply to all of them. <laughs> first, when you look at the end of the Batman, he gets the crap beat out of him, right? He gets shot, he's kicked, he's beaten, he's battered. He could be in a lot of pain. He could be at home recovering. He might even be in a hospital for all we know. He's not, probably at home recovering. We have a scene with him in Catwoman, which shows he still dresses it in the part as Batman, but we don't know how physical he gets. And if he believes things are going to get too physical, maybe he stays home that night and lets the corrupt cops do their jobs. But I don't think Batman would play like that. I'm vengeance. We know within the Penguin, right, the first few episodes are within days, and now we're even further removed as the story goes along we're going into december now i think we're still in november but snow's falling it's we're heading into like thanksgiving christmas time things like that with the batman world so there's more time if he has any broken bones or whatnot he probably hasn't been healed yet so there's still that aspect to why he's not out there he is healing but that's not i don't think this batman or any batman would do that i don't think that's the case here i think the reasoning has to do with a few things first i want to show this clip from the batman Mr. Wayne, you know, you really could be doing more for this city. Your family has a history of philanthropy, but as far as I can tell, you're not doing anything. So in this moment, Bruce is kind of told he needs to do more for the city. The mayor, uh, mayor-elect, soon-to-be mayor, is telling Bruce that he needs to do more. His parents did more, and now it's his turn to do more. If you put that next to the ending of the movie with Riddler's cronies, he sees what Batman has done to the city, right? He believes Gotham needs Batman, but in this moment with Bella Real, he's being told Gotham actually needs you, rich boy. They need Bruce Wayne to be a focal point of face within Gotham. And when he sees at the end what's happening with Riddler's cronies and how the city is not exactly how he planned it, he's helping the city, but also they're using him as an outlet to become who they want to be. And not everybody has a moral code like Bruce Wayne, Batman. Some of them are out for other things and they do things a little bit more aggressively a la the Riddler. Before the Penguin was released on HBO, a series of fictional newspapers were handed out. I believe people actually got physical copies of these. I've only ever seen them online. If you got one, let me know. I'd love to see it. But if you take a look at the newspaper clipping right here, you have some cool headlines. You have the plaintiff's case full of holes. DA tells jurors. The DA's name is never referenced in this article, which makes which makes me think that Harvey Dent isn't the DA yet, or Harvey Dent might already be Two-Face at this point in time. The incident with Sal Maroney may already have occurred before we even meet Sal Maroney. This could be something that's already happened because as I've said, like Penguin's kind of becoming Penguin, Joker's already Joker, and Riddler is Riddler. Now Matt Reeves kind of said that this movie, that the Batman movies were gonna be origin of the rogues gallery so that might not fit in but it could also work if two-face is already established within this world we already got that that could be why there's a different da here or of course maybe harvey dent just isn't the da yet 
chaos in Blackgate there. Uh, cops, the everyone in Blackgate's corrupt. That's basically that. Riddler inspired Escape Room, which I would love in real life. Uh, why I'm done with Gotham, Lights Off, a uh, story about Alberto Falcone, uh, Falcone being a playboy. But here's what I wanted to point out here is this little comic strip right here with the bat signal in the sky. You got the commissioner and a cop, and it says, it's been weeks, sir. It's been weeks. Vengeance is on there. No more lies. We see the cities in chaos and ruins, and it's a sketch. And I really think this is this is such a focal point that I think we can't ignore what it's saying here. The Batman hasn't responded to the bat signal for weeks. Weeks. This isn't like a minute or two. This is a weeks, right? So not only is the police force noticing his absence, not just Commissioner Gordon, citizens are clearly missing Batman's absence. And I think this all kind of blends together to where I think this story is going, and that is Batman No Man's Land. I think Batman is out of town because he's dealing with other things. He's trying to get resources. He's trying to get funding for Gotham. So let's just discuss a little bit about what No Man's Land is. Batman No Man's Land is a story that plunges Gotham City into chaos after a massive earthquake devastates it and the U.S. government declares it a no man's land, sealing it off from the outside world. Gotham's wealthy and powerful flee the city, leaving its poorest criminals and dedicated vigilantes to fend for themselves. Amid gang, warfare, scarcity, and lawlessness, but during this time, Bruce Wayne goes missing for a while, leaving Gotham's protection to his allies, a move that raises questions about his motives and where he really goes. When Gotham is declared beyond saving, Bruce Wayne first tries to use his influence and wealth to change the government's decision. He lobbies to prevent the No Man's Land decree, hoping to keep Gotham connected to the rest of the country, but his efforts fail, leaving Bruce feeling as though he's failed his city and his mission. This setback is one of the first times we see Batman forced to reckon with limits to his power as Bruce Wayne. Faced with the massive failure, he leaves Gotham temporarily, disappearing with no word to his allies. Bruce's disappearance has deeper psychological roots. With his back against the wall, he steps back to reassess his role as Gotham's protector, taking a journey that many believe is a combination of self-reflection and physical search for solutions. Bruce Wayne, the man, is grappling with his identity in a way Batman rarely allows him to. He doubts if he's really making a difference and if his vigilante crusade is even what Gotham needs. This internal conflict sets up an important theme for No Man's Land. Gotham isn't defined by one man or a hero, no matter how powerful or committed. In the end, Bruce Wayne's disappearance in No Man's Land isn't just about him leaving. It's a period of necessary transformation. When he returns, he's not just Gotham's silent guardian, but also a man who understands that even Batman can't protect Gotham alone. It's a storyline that enriches his character, positioning him not only as a protector, but as a symbol of resilience and unity. And that is what I believe they're going to take from No Man's Land. I don't know if they're going to do all the little gang stuff all here and there. I don't think they have enough characters developed yet, enough of the rogues gallery characters developed yet to do that. They might. They might be able to. I'm not sure. We've gotten some hints of other gang members, of other gangs that could be involved. They've had little references throughout the Penguin show. They even name dropped No Man's Land in the second episode of Penguin. So I feel like we're really going on this direction. There's so many little tidbits here. They brought Bach back, who plays a part in No Man's Land, and things like that. So I believe this is where we're heading, and this is the reason for Batman leaving. I think he probably goes out, tries to get resources and funding, fails, and after hearing what Bella Real said, that's what makes him go there. But after hearing what Riddler's gang says to him about their vengeance and what he means to the city, he might have to go back and take some self-reflection and separate himself from the events of the city. Try to get the city to cleanse itself without the Batman before coming to a realization that the city actually needs Batman. That could be the case. It might not be the case. But I believe all roads are leading to no man's land. No earthquake? Sure, but we got a flood. The bridges are gone. Gotham is in disarray. Crown's Point is a disaster. I can't wait to see where the Penguin is heading and what the Batman 2 has in store for us. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I really appreciate it. Love talking Batman, Penguin, and so much more with you. And until next time, may you be the master of your own universe.